Welcome to Creepy, the best horror storyteller on YouTube. Part 1. The Move The Lutz family's dream of owning a spacious, suburban home was finally coming true. After months of searching, they found the perfect house at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, Long Island. The house was grand and imposing, a three-story Victorian with a wraparound porch and a sprawling backyard. The price was surprisingly low, far below market value, which the Lutz family attributed to the house's recent tragic history. Just a few years prior, the DeFeo family had been brutally murdered in the house. Six members of the DeFeo family, including both parents and four children, were found dead in their beds, shot execution style. The murders were unsolved, and the house had remained empty ever since, casting a pall of dread over the neighborhood. Undeterred by the house's dark past, the Lutz family was determined to make it their own. They saw the low price as an opportunity and believed they could overcome any lingering negative energy. George Lutz, the father, was a hard-working salesman, while his wife, Kathy, was a stay-at-home mom with three children, Danny, 13, Missy, 7, and Christopher, 5. As they moved in, the Lutz family was excited about their new home. The house was spacious and well-maintained, with plenty of room for their growing family. They envisioned many happy memories being made within its walls. However, they were soon to discover that their dream home held something far more sinister than they could have ever imagined. From the start, strange things began to happen in the Amityville house. Unexplained noises echoed through the halls, doors slammed shut on their own, and disembodied voices whispered in the night. The family's pets, a dog and a cat, became increasingly agitated, refusing to enter certain rooms and exhibiting signs of fear. At first, the Lutz family brushed off these occurrences as the usual creaks and groans of an old house. But as the frequency and intensity of the paranormal activity increased, they began to feel uneasy. The disembodied voices grew louder, the noises more insistent, and the apparitions more frequent. One night, Kathy awoke to a chilling sight, a glowing red demon hovering over her bed, its eyes burning with malevolent energy. She screamed, waking up George, who saw the apparition vanish into thin air. Another night, Danny was awakened by a cold, clammy hand gripping his ankle. He pulled away in terror, only to see a shadowy figure standing at the foot of his bed. The figure let out a guttural growl and then disappeared. The paranormal activity was taking a toll on the Lutz family. They were constantly on edge, their sleep disrupted, and their nerves frayed. The once happy, loving family was becoming increasingly withdrawn and fearful. Part 2. Strange Occurrences The paranormal activity in the Amityville house was escalating at an alarming rate. The Lutz family was no longer able to dismiss the strange occurrences as mere coincidences. They were now living in a state of constant fear and dread. The disembodied voices grew louder and more frequent, often speaking in a language that sounded ancient and guttural. They would whisper threats and insults, taunt the family members, and make them feel like they were constantly being watched. The unexplained noises intensified, transforming from creaks and groans to loud bangs, crashes, and shrieks. These noises would often occur in the dead of night, shattering the silence and leaving the Lutz family trembling in their beds. The ghostly apparitions became more tangible, appearing with greater frequency and clarity. Family members would see shadowy figures lurking in the corners of their rooms, feel icy cold presences brushing against them, and catch fleeting glimpses of ghostly faces in mirrors and windows. The family's pets became increasingly terrified, refusing to enter certain rooms and reacting violently to the paranormal activity. Their dog would bark incessantly at unseen entities, while their cat would hiss and arch its back, its fur standing on end. The Lutz children were particularly affected by the haunting. Danny, the eldest, would often wake up in the middle of the night, paralyzed with fear as he sensed a malevolent presence in his room. Missy, the middle child, became withdrawn and clingy, constantly seeking comfort from her parents. Christopher, the youngest, seemed oblivious to the paranormal activity, but his parents noticed a change in his behavior, a sense of unease that was never present before. The Lutz family was at a breaking point. They were sleep-deprived, constantly on edge, and their mental health was deteriorating. They felt like they were living in a prison, trapped in a house that was slowly consuming their sanity. Desperate for answers and a way to stop the haunting, they turned to paranormal investigators for help. 
A team of experts arrived at the Amityville house, equipped with ghost hunting equipment and a determination to uncover the source of the paranormal activity. The investigators conducted a series of experiments using electronic voice phenomena, EVP, recorders, infrared cameras, and electromagnetic field, EMF, detectors. They interviewed the Lutz family, documenting their experiences and trying to understand the patterns of the paranormal activity. What they discovered was truly terrifying. The EVP recorders captured disembodied voices speaking in various languages, some of them ancient and unknown. The infrared cameras recorded ghostly apparitions, shadowy figures that appeared and disappeared in an instant. And the EMF detectors spiked wildly, indicating the presence of intense electromagnetic fields in certain areas of the house. The investigators concluded that the Amityville house was haunted by a powerful and malevolent entity. They warned the Lutz family that they were dealing with something far more sinister than ordinary ghosts and that they should leave the house immediately. The Lutz family was stunned by this revelation. They had always hoped that the paranormal activity was just a fluke, a product of their imaginations or an unsettled past. But now, they were faced with the terrifying reality that their dream home was a portal to a realm of darkness and evil. As they grappled with this new understanding, the paranormal activity intensified, leaving no doubt that the entity was aware of their investigation and was determined to drive them out. The Lutz family was trapped in a terrifying battle, fighting for their sanity and their very lives. Part 3. Escalating Terror The Lutz family was living in a nightmare. The paranormal activity in the Amityville house was escalating at an alarming rate, leaving them constantly on edge and their mental health deteriorating. They were trapped in a prison of fear, their dream home turned into a portal to a realm of darkness and evil. The entity that haunted the house was relentless, determined to drive the Lutz family out. It intensified its attacks, using every means at its disposal to terrorize them. The disembodied voices grew louder and more menacing, their threats becoming more explicit and their insults more personal. The unexplained noises transformed into a cacophony of bangs, crashes, and shrieks echoing through the halls and shattering the silence of the night. The ghostly apparitions became more tangible, appearing with greater frequency and clarity, their forms more defined and their presence more oppressive. The family's pets were in a state of constant terror. Their dog would bark incessantly at unseen entities, its fur standing on end and its eyes filled with fear. Their cat would hiss and arch its back, its fur bristling and its claws extended, ready to attack. The Lutz children were particularly affected by the escalating terror. Danny, the eldest, would often wake up in the middle of the night, paralyzed with fear as he sensed a malevolent presence in his room, its icy breath brushing against his face. Missy, the middle child, became withdrawn and clingy, constantly seeking comfort from her parents, her eyes wide with terror. Christopher, the youngest, was no longer oblivious to the paranormal activity, he too felt the fear and dread that permeated the house, his once innocent eyes now clouded with worry. George and Kathy Lutz were at their wit's end. They were sleep deprived, their nerves frayed, and their sanity hanging by a thread. The constant fear and terror were taking a toll on their physical and mental health. They felt like they were losing themselves, their identity and their sense of reality slowly slipping away. Desperate for a way to stop the haunting and protect their family, they sought help from religious authorities. They contacted a priest, hoping that the power of faith could cleanse their home of the malevolent entity. The priest arrived at the Amityville house, armed with holy water, prayer books, and a crucifix. He conducted a solemn exorcism, blessing each room of the house and invoking divine protection against the evil that lurked within. For a while, the exorcism seemed to have an effect. The paranormal activity subsided, the disembodied voices fell silent, and the ghostly apparitions vanished. The Lutz family felt a sense of relief, a glimmer of hope that their nightmare might finally be over. But this respite was short-lived. The entity was merely biding its time, gathering its strength for a final, devastating attack. It was determined to break the Lutz family's spirit, to drive them out of their home and claim it as its own. And so, the terror resumed, escalating to new levels of intensity. The disembodied voices returned, their whispers laced with malice and their threats filled with venom. The unexplained noises reached a deafening crescendo, shaking the very foundations of the house. The ghostly apparitions materialized in full force, their forms grotesque and terrifying, their eyes glowing with malevolent intent. 
The Lutz family was under siege. They were trapped in a battle for their sanity, their lives, and their very souls. The entity was relentless, its power growing with each passing moment. The Lutz family was on the brink of collapse, their hope dwindling, their fear consuming them. They knew that they couldn't stay in the Amityville house any longer. They had to escape, to break free from the entity's grip and find safety elsewhere. But the entity was not willing to let them go without a fight. It would unleash its full fury upon them, determined to prevent their escape. The Lutz family was facing the ultimate test of their courage and resilience. They had to summon all their strength and determination to survive this final confrontation with the malevolent entity that had turned their dream home into a living nightmare. The fate of the Lutz family hung in the balance, their future uncertain, their lives hanging by a threat. Part 4. Seeking Help The Lutz family was at a breaking point. The paranormal activity in the Amityville house had reached a fever pitch, and they were living in a constant state of terror and fear. The entity that haunted the house was relentless, determined to drive them out and claim their home as its own. George and Kathy Lutz knew that they had to do something to stop the haunting and protect their family. They had tried everything they could think of, from seeking help from paranormal investigators to undergoing an exorcism, but nothing had worked. The entity was too powerful, too malevolent to be defeated by ordinary mates. Desperate for answers and a way to save their family, they turned to unconventional methods. They reached out to a renowned psychic, a woman known for her ability to communicate with the spirit world. They hoped that she could provide them with insights into the nature of the entity and help them find a way to break free from its grasp. The psychic agreed to help them, and she arranged a meeting at the Amityville house. She brought with her a team of experienced paranormal investigators, hoping to gather more evidence of the haunting and gain a better understanding of the entity's motivations. As the team began their investigation, the psychic entered a trance state, attempting to make contact with the spirit that haunted the house. She was met with a wave of negative energy, a powerful force that tried to push her away and prevent her from communicating. But the psychic was determined to persevere. She focused her energy, shielding herself from the negative force and reaching out to the spirit. Slowly, she began to make contact, establishing a fragile bridge between the physical world and the realm of the dead. Through this connection, the psychic learned that the entity was a malevolent spirit trapped in the house, unable to move on to the afterlife. It had been consumed by anger and hatred, its desire for revenge overpowering any sense of peace or redemption. The psychic also discovered that the entity was particularly attached to the Lutz family, seeing them as the ideal vessels for its rage. It wanted to use them to unleash its fury upon the world, to spread its darkness and destroy everything in its path. Armed with this knowledge, the psychic knew that the Lutz family had to leave the house immediately. They could not stay in the presence of such a malevolent entity risking their own sanity and the lives of their children. The psychic warned the Lutz family that the entity would not let them leave without a fight. It would try to prevent their escape, using all of its power to keep them trapped in its domain. But the Lutz family was determined to survive. They had endured enough terror and pain, and they were not willing to give up hope. They would fight back, using every resource at their disposal to break free from the entity's grip and escape the Amityville house. With the help of the psychic and the paranormal investigators, the Lutz family began to plan their escape. They gathered information about the entity's weaknesses, studying its patterns and behaviors. They devised a strategy, hoping to outsmart the entity and break free from its control. The night of their escape arrived, and the Lutz family braced themselves for the final confrontation. They knew that the entity would be at its most powerful, determined to prevent them from leaving. But they also knew that they had each other, their love and determination stronger than any malevolent force. As they prepared to leave the house, the entity unleashed its fury. The disembodied voices screamed, the unexplained noises filled the air, and the ghostly apparitions materialized, their forms grotesque and terrifying. The Lutz family fought back, using their knowledge and determination to outsmart the entity. They followed their plan, moving quickly and decisively, their hearts pounding with fear but their resolve unwavering. Finally, they reached the front door, the last barrier between them and freedom. The entity tried to stop them, throwing everything it had at them, but they were too strong, their determination too powerful. With one final push, they burst through the door and out into the night, leaving the Amityville house and the malevolent entity behind. They had escaped the clutches of darkness and reclaimed their lives, 
their nightmare finally over. As they drove away from the house, they looked back at the dark silhouette of the Amityville, a symbol of the terror they had endured. But they also felt a sense of relief, a profound gratitude for their survival. They had faced their fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged victorious. Part 5. Demonic Presence The Lutz family had escaped the Amityville house, but their ordeal was far from over. They carried with them the scars of their terrifying experiences, and the entity that haunted the house was still at large. The Lutz family sought refuge in a motel, hoping to regroup and recover from their ordeal. They were exhausted, emotionally drained, and still struggling to process the horrors they had witnessed. But the entity would not allow them to rest. It followed them to the motel, its malevolent presence casting a shadow over their every move. The disembodied voices tormented them in their sleep, the unexplained noises disrupted their peace, and the ghostly apparitions haunted their waking hours. The Lutz family was once again living in fear, their hope of escape turning to despair. They knew that they couldn't stay in hiding forever, they had to find a way to confront the entity and break free from its grasp. They turned to experts in demonic possession, seeking guidance on how to deal with such a powerful and malevolent force. They learned about the ancient history of demonic entities, their motivations, and their weaknesses. They discovered that the entity that haunted the Amityville house was not a mere ghost or spirit, it was a demon, a fallen angel consumed by hatred and darkness. It had been trapped in the house for decades, feeding off the fear and despair of its inhabitants. The experts warned the Lutz family that confronting a demon was a dangerous undertaking. They needed to be prepared for a battle of wills, a struggle between the light and the darkness. They would need to summon all their courage and faith, and they would need to be prepared for any outcome. The Lutz family was determined to fight back. They had endured enough pain and suffering, and they were not willing to give up without a fight. They would confront the demon, using their knowledge and determination to vanquish it from the world. They gathered holy symbols, prayed for divine protection, and prepared themselves for the ultimate confrontation. They knew that the battle would be fierce, but they were also filled with a renewed sense of hope. With the guidance of the experts, the Lutz family returned to the Amityville house, ready to face the demon once and for all. They entered the house with a mixture of fear and determination, their hearts pounding with anticipation. As they ventured deeper into the house, the demon's presence grew stronger. The disembodied voices echoed through the halls, the air crackled with negative energy, and the ghostly apparitions materialized with terrifying clarity. The Lutz family stood their ground, their resolve unwavering. They recited prayers, invoked the power of their faith, and held their holy symbols high. They were ready for the demon's attack. The demon appeared before them, a grotesque and horrifying figure, its eyes glowing with malice and its form contorted in rage. It lunged at the Lutz family, its claws outstretched and its fangs bared. The Lutz family fought back, using their holy symbols to repel the demon's attacks and their faith to strengthen their resolve. The battle was fierce, a clash of light and darkness, hope and despair. The Lutz family's determination proved to be the demon's undoing. Their unwavering faith and their unwavering courage weakened the demon's power, its malevolent energy slowly dissipating. With a final surge of their combined strength, the Lutz family banished the demon from the Amityville house. The entity let out a piercing shriek as it was forced back into the abyss, its reign of terror finally ended. The Lutz family had emerged victorious, their ordeal finally over. They had faced their fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged triumphant. They had reclaimed their lives, their faith, and their peace of mind. As they left the Amityville house for the last time, they cast one final glance at the dark silhouette, a reminder of the terror they had endured. But they also felt a profound sense of relief, a gratitude for their survival, and a renewed appreciation for the light that had guided them through the darkness. Part 6. Desperate Measures The Lutz family was finally free from the malevolent entity that had haunted the Amityville house. They had faced their fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged victorious. But their ordeal had taken a toll on them, and they were still struggling to recover from the trauma they had endured. They had lost everything in their escape from the Amityville house, their possessions destroyed by the entity's rage. They had nowhere to go, no means of support, and no way of knowing what the future held. But they refused to give up hope. They held on to each other for strength, their love and determination guiding them through their darkest hour. They sought help from friends and family, who provided them with temporary shelter and financial assistance. 
They reached out to support groups for victims of paranormal experiences, finding solace and understanding among those who had shared similar experiences. They also sought professional help, consulting with therapists and counselors to help them process the trauma they had endured. They learned to cope with their fear and anxiety, to manage their nightmares and flashbacks, and to rebuild their lives from the ground up. It was a long and difficult process filled with setbacks and challenges. But the Lutz family persevered, their resilience and determination unwavering. They were determined to reclaim their lives, to find peace and happiness once again. As they began to heal, the Lutz family also started to share their story with the world. They spoke out about their experiences in the Amityville house, hoping to raise awareness about paranormal phenomena and to help others who might be facing similar challenges. Their story was met with skepticism and disbelief by many, but they continued to speak out, their voices gaining strength and credibility over time. They became advocates for those who had been affected by paranormal experiences, offering support and guidance to those who felt alone and afraid. They also wrote a book about their experiences, The Amityville Horror, which became a bestseller and helped to cement their place in the annals of paranormal history. The book was later adapted into a successful film franchise, further popularizing their story and bringing it to a wider audience. The Lutz family's courage and determination inspired others to speak out about their own paranormal experiences, helping to break down the stigma and silence that often surround these events. They became symbols of hope and resilience, demonstrating that even in the face of unimaginable fear and darkness, the human spirit can triumph. Today, the Lutz family continues to live their lives with a newfound appreciation for peace and happiness. They have rebuilt their lives, found fulfillment in their work, and raised a loving family. They have faced their fears and emerged stronger, their story a testament to the power of courage, faith, and love in overcoming even the darkest of nightmares. Part 7, A Night of Terror The Lutz family was determined to find a new home, a place where they could start fresh and leave the horrors of Amityville behind them. They found a house in Huntington, New York, a peaceful town with a strong sense of community. They hoped that this new home would bring them the peace and tranquility they so desperately craved. But the entity that had haunted the Amityville house was not so easily vanquished. It had followed the Lutz family to their new home, determined to continue its reign of terror. The paranormal activity began subtly at first, a cold breeze blowing through the house, a door creaking open on its own, a whisper of a voice in the dead of night. But as the days passed, the entity's presence grew stronger, and the Lutz family found themselves once again living in a state of constant fear. The disembodied voices grew louder, filling the house with their taunts and threats. The unexplained noises became more frequent and intense, shaking the very foundations of the house. The ghostly apparitions materialized with terrifying clarity, their forms grotesque and menacing. The Lutz children were particularly affected by the intensifying paranormal activity. Danny, the eldest, would wake up in the middle of the night, paralyzed with fear as he sensed the malevolent presence in his room. Missy, the middle child, became withdrawn and clingy, constantly seeking comfort from her parents. Christopher, the youngest, was once again oblivious to the paranormal activity, his innocence lost to the horrors he had witnessed in Amityville. George and Kathy Lutz were at their wits' end. They were sleep-deprived, their nerves frayed, and their sanity hanging by a thread. The constant fear and terror were taking a toll on their physical and mental health. They felt like they were losing themselves, their identity and their sense of reality slowly slipping away. Desperate to break free from the entity's grip, the Lutz family sought help from a renowned demonologist. They explained their experiences, hoping that he could provide them with the knowledge and tools to defeat the malevolent force that haunted their home. The demonologist listened intently to their story, his eyes filled with understanding and compassion. He confirmed their fears, telling them that the entity was indeed a powerful demon, consumed by rage and hatred. He warned them that confronting it would be a dangerous undertaking, a battle between the forces of light and darkness. But the Lutz family was determined to fight back. They had endured enough terror and pain, and they were not willing to give up without a fight. They would face the demon, using every resource at their disposal to vanquish it from the world. With the guidance of the demonologist, the Lutz family prepared themselves for the ultimate confrontation. They gathered holy symbols, prayed for divine protection, and studied the demon's weaknesses. They knew that the battle would be fierce, 
but they were also filled with a renewed sense of hope. On the night of the confrontation, the Lutz family gathered in their living room, the air thick with tension and anticipation. The demonologist led them in a prayer, invoking the power of divine light and protection. As the prayer ended, a cold gust of wind swept through the house, the lights flickered and died, and the demon materialized before them. It was a grotesque and horrifying figure, its eyes glowing with malevolent energy and its form contorted in rage. The Lutz family stood their ground, their hearts pounding with fear, but their resolve unwavering. They held their holy symbols high, their voices raised in prayer, and their eyes fixed on the demon with unwavering determination. The battle raged on, a clash of light and darkness, hope and despair. The Lutz family fought valiantly, their faith and determination their greatest weapons. The demon fought back with all its might, its rage fueled by centuries of hatred and despair. But in the end, it was the Lutz family who emerged victorious. Their unwavering faith and their unwavering courage weakened the demon's power, its malevolent energy slowly dissipating. With the final surge of their combined strength, they banished the demon back into the abyss, its reign of terror finally ended. The Lutz family had once again faced their fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged triumphant. They had reclaimed their lives, their faith, and their peace of mind. They had proven that even in the face of unimaginable fear and darkness, the human spirit can triumph. As they left their new home for the last time, they cast one final glance at the dark silhouette, a reminder of the terror they had endured. But they also felt a profound sense of relief, a gratitude for their survival, and a renewed appreciation for the light that had guided them through the darkness. Part 8. Breaking Free The Lutz family had finally escaped the clutches of the malevolent entity that had haunted their homes in Amityville and Huntington. They had faced their fears, confronted the darkness, and emerged victorious. But their ordeal was far from over. The entity's attacks had left them physically and emotionally drained. They were haunted by nightmares, flashbacks, and a constant sense of unease. They struggled to cope with the trauma they had endured, their lives forever changed by the horrors they had witnessed. They sought help from therapists and counselors, working through their fears and rebuilding their shattered sense of self. They leaned on each other for support, their love and determination the glue that held them together. They also continued to share their story with the world, hoping to raise awareness about paranormal phenomena and to help others who might be facing similar challenges. They spoke out at conferences, appeared on television shows, and wrote articles about their experiences. Their story resonated with many people, offering a glimmer of hope in the face of fear and uncertainty. They became symbols of resilience and courage, demonstrating that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can prevail. But the entity's presence still lingered, its malevolent influence casting a shadow over their lives. They could feel its presence in their dreams, their waking hours, in the very air they breathed. It was a constant reminder of the terror they had endured, a threat that was always just beneath the surface. They knew that they couldn't live like this forever. They had to find a way to break free from the entity's grip once and for all. They sought guidance from spiritual healers and religious leaders, hoping to find a path to spiritual cleansing and protection. They learned about ancient rituals and practices designed to banish evil spirits and restore harmony to troubled souls. They embraced their faith, seeking solace and strength in their belief in a higher power. With renewed determination, they embarked on a journey of spiritual renewal. They practiced meditation, yoga, and other mindfulness techniques, seeking to calm their minds and connect with their inner strength. They surrounded themselves with positive energy, filling their lives with love, laughter, and gratitude. As they delved deeper into their spiritual journey, they began to feel a shift within themselves. The entity's presence grew weaker, its influence diminishing with each passing day. They felt lighter, freer, as if a heavy burden had been lifted from their shoulders. Finally, one day, they felt the entity's presence vanish completely. A wave of relief washed over them, a sense of peace and tranquility they had not felt in years. They had broken free from the entity's grip, their spirits finally liberated from its clutches. The Lutz family had emerged from their ordeal stronger, wiser, and more deeply connected to their own inner strength. They had learned to confront their fears, to embrace the light within themselves, and to never give up hope, even in the face of unimaginable darkness. They continued to share their story, inspiring others to face their own challenges with courage and resilience. 
They became advocates for mental health awareness, speaking out about the importance of seeking help and finding support in the face of trauma. They lived their lives to the fullest, cherishing every moment and embracing the beauty of the world around them. They had faced their demons and emerged victorious, their story a testament to the power of the human spirit to overcome even the darkest of nightmares. Part 9 Aftermath Years had passed since the Lutz family's horrifying experiences in the Amityville house and their subsequent confrontation with the malevolent entity. They had rebuilt their lives, found peace and happiness, and moved on from the trauma of their past. George and Kathy Lutz continued to live in their Huntington home, raising their children in a loving and supportive environment. Danny, Missy, and Christopher had grown into well-adjusted adults, their childhood fears replaced by a sense of resilience and determination. The Lutz family never forgot their encounters with the paranormal, but they also refused to let these experiences define them. They had learned to move forward, to embrace the present, and to cherish the beauty of life around them. They continued to advocate for those affected by paranormal experiences, offering support and guidance to others who had faced similar challenges. They spoke out about the importance of seeking help, of finding strength in community, and of never giving up hope. Their story had touched the lives of many, offering a glimmer of inspiration in the face of fear and uncertainty. They had become symbols of courage and resilience, demonstrating that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit could prevail. Years later, an older and wiser George Lutz sat in his living room, reflecting on the extraordinary events that had shaped his life. He looked around at his peaceful home, at his loving family, and at the countless blessings that filled his life. A sense of profound gratitude washed over him. He had faced unimaginable darkness, had confronted his deepest fears, and had emerged victorious. He had learned that even in the midst of chaos and terror, there was always a glimmer of hope, a spark of light that could guide the way back to peace and happiness. He thought about all the people he had met, the lives he had touched, and the stories he had shared. He realized that his experiences, though harrowing, had also given him a unique perspective on life, a deeper understanding of the human spirit's resilience and the power of hope. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over his home, George Lutz felt a sense of contentment and fulfillment. He had faced his demons and emerged stronger, wiser, and more deeply connected to the beauty and wonder of the world around him. Part 10. The Legacy As the final rays of sunlight faded from the horizon, casting long shadows across the Amityville house, the air grew still and silent. The house stood as a haunting monument to the terror that had unfolded within its walls, a silent witness to the extraordinary events that had forever changed the lives of the Lutz family. The Lutz family's ordeal had become a part of paranormal history, their story etched into the annals of those who dared to venture into the realm of the unexplained. Their tale of terror and resilience resonated with countless individuals, offering a glimpse into the depths of human fear and the extraordinary strength of the human spirit. Over the years, the Amityville House had become a magnet for paranormal enthusiasts, a place where they sought to connect with the unseen, to feel the chill of the unknown, and to test the boundaries of reality. Countless ghost hunters and investigators had flocked to the house, armed with their equipment and their insatiable curiosity, hoping to capture evidence of the paranormal activity that had plagued the Lutz family. While some found solace in the idea of the paranormal, others remained skeptical, dismissing the Lutz family's accounts as mere fabrications, the product of overactive imaginations or a desperate need for attention. But the Lutz family remained steadfast in their story, their unwavering belief in their experiences serving as a testament to the profound impact the paranormal had had on their lives. George and Kathy Lutz, the patriarch and matriarch of the Lutz family, continued to share their story with the world, their voices a beacon of hope for those who had faced similar experiences. They spoke out against the stigma often associated with paranormal encounters, encouraging others to seek support and validation, to break the silence and confront their fears. Their children, Danny, Missy, and Christopher, carried the weight of their experiences with quiet strength, their childhoods forever intertwined with the paranormal events that had unfolded in Amityville. They had learned to navigate the complexities of fear and uncertainty, their resilience a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. As the years passed, the Lutz family story remained a source of fascination and debate, a tale of terror and resilience that continued to captivate the imagination. 
The Amityville house stood as a reminder of the unseen forces that lurked beneath the surface, a silent sentinel watching over the town, its secrets forever shrouded in mystery. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more similar horror stories.